you know, what sticks out to you when you lose are, are all the things that you messed up as a competitor, things that you could have done better. So certainly had a clean look at it uh, and, uh, you know, didn't draw anything there. That, that's probably the, the one that jumps out, uh, had an opportunity to tie for, for the team and, and wasn't able to make that shot. So it's uh, frustrating because, you know, uh, your team depends on you to, to make plays like that. But, um, you know, we... Um, we gave it. We gave it what we had. Uh, I thought, um, you know, I thought Tiana played terrific for us. I thought our bench really, really came in and and uh, helped level the game and helped get into overtime. So, um, you know, we can certainly be proud of our effort. Tiana, you had the first, I think, nine points of, of the fourth quarter. Just your thoughts on your energy and what you're able to contribute late in the game? I um, was just being able to watch the game from the bench and then come in, coming in and having a good spark for the team. You know, again, key rebounds and just attacking the boards. And you know, my teammates calling me in good um, spots on the floor. Kara, with the experience of Indiana having won the championship back in 2012, what kind of factors into you being one of the veteran players on this team, but playing against a team you understand what they're working with, and they're more of them with your level of experience on the other side. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to execution. And I thought down the stretch, uh, they really executed and got the shots that they wanted, uh, put the ball in the hands of, of January and, and of catchings. And um, we just uh, got caught. We were late in rotation or um, just late on cuts. And so guarding cuts, um, I know I let Zealous get a, get a layup there late. Um, you know, those are, those are things that um, we, we've got to, We've got to limit those those opportunities. Uh, they're they're a really good team, and they're a team that's built for playoffs and uh, have a lot of veterans, and uh, they just kind of know what it takes in close games. And we do too, but we didn't have the same consistency they did um, down the stretch in either game. And uh, you know, hopefully over the off season and going into next year, we'll we'll use this experience as a positive. And Tiana, how can you describe the personality? Um, I mean, yeah, we're a young team, but um, over the course of, this se of the season, I think everyone can agree that we learned a lot and we improved a lot. So I think that's good. Um, looking for next season, uh, you know, we have a lot to prove next year, and we just have to come back stronger. And Carol, what's that going to take? I think just learning to play together more. You know, um, there's no, you know, they, they've had a group together for a long time, and so the longer we, we get on the court with one another, the more we understand each other's tendencies on both ends, the better we're going to be. Um, we, our group, I mean, we had seven first or second year players this year. That's not the reason that we lost at all. We, we don't look at our youth as a reason why we lost, but we do look at it as what a bright future our group has. Um, all of our young players are, are hungry, they're positive, they uh, really want to be good in this league. So. Um, as, as, a, as a veteran on this team, um, I'm excited to play with them for a little bit, and then I'll be excited to watch them when I'm when I'm still playing. <laughs> Tiana, what um, such a young team, Coach Dunn said there's a bright future here. What can you learn from this series that you can kind of take into the, the next season? Um, we can just um, look at all the close games we had this year and just fine tune the small things that you know made a difference in the many games that were really close this year, and even to the game tonight. You know, as far as rebounding. Um, being intact on defense and everything. So, it, I mean, we have a great future. All right. Six locker rooms open.